It's been a year since Georgian Restaurant Tiflisi was awarded a Michelin Bib Gourmand. When they first got word via email, they thought it was spam. I realized it was something you know, serious. I told my, uh, my parents, my mom, who is a chef, my dad, um, he's a sous chef, and then they couldn't believe it. Bib Gourmand is a designation given to select restaurants that offer good quality food for good value, often known as the secret inspector's fave dining spots. The Beaches restaurant opened in 2021, fighting through pandemic restrictions, but it was all worth it. I think in terms of number, if we take year to year uh, increase, I would say close to 20 to 25 percent, you know, not in the, maybe even more. Tiflisi maintained its Bib Gourmand status. Four new restaurants were added to that select list this year, including Conejo Negro. We've been doing this for a long time and we just want to provide good food, good service, let everybody have a good time. From Collingwood to Niagara, Cambridge to Scarborough. New this year is the addition of restaurants outside of Toronto. It's not only about Toronto itself, but Toronto and region. New areas to discover, new culinary offers to dive into new experiences to enjoy. Round of applause for this year. Banking two awards, including the Young Chef Award and a Michelin star, was Hexagon from Oakville. In the culinary world, like, there's no higher regard than a Michelin star. And, like, to have that in our grasp now is, like, there's, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's like, I'm, I'm in shock. Michelin inspectors apply five criteria, including product quality, cooking techniques, harmony of flavors, the personality of the chef in the food, and consistency over time and across the entire menu. On top of Oakville's Hexagon, three other establishments received a single star, including restaurants in Toronto, Simcoe County, and the Niagara region. Every addition to the Michelin list raises Toronto's standing in the food scene. According to a study by Destination Toronto, visitors spent $2 billion in 2023 in the food and beverage sector. When people come for a for a, a culinary trip here, if they really want to eat their way around the city, they might eat at one or two or three Michelin restaurants, but then the rest of their trip, they're eating at restaurants all throughout the city. So it's, it's benefiting restaurants that are in the guide, um, but also the restaurants that aren't. As someone who tried some of the food on this list, you won't be disappointed. Dale Manukduk, CBC News, Toronto.